What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. I am Dimension Scar. Please, if you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button if you like what you see. Okay guys, this is my brand new ranking video. And today, I'm gonna give you guys my personal rankings of every single six films of the Terminator franchise. Okay, so what is the Terminator franchise? This franchise is about robots and humans, cyborgs, a computer net. These machines, these cyborgs, they're killing every last single human being on the planet. And it's up to one person and his resistance to help fight against these unstoppable killing machines, John Connor. Now the Terminator franchise, that was when the man, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he became famous for. This is one of the, his famous roles he's ever been in. And the Terminator franchise, for me personally, is a very fun, very interesting action pack about time traveling, being protecting unstoppable action killing machines. And I remember watching the very first Terminator on Netflix one night, and it I wasn't sure what I wasn't sure how to understand it, but upon rewatching, it grew and grew in me until it became my it became a favorite classic sci-fi slasher horror movie. The first one here. Now, guys, to let you guys know, this is just my list personally. It's just how way I feel. My list isn't the right list. I would love to see your list is down below. Which ones you love? Which ones you hate? Or is T1 and 2 are the only ones you care about and you haven't had any desire to go and watch any follow-ups? Please let me know down below. So, let's get started. My list, again, may be a little controversial. I'm going to be as positive as I can as possible. Let's begin. At number 6, Terminator Salvation. Now, I can understand that the movie was going for something completely new and different. Dark is so dark and it's greedy, but unfortunately, the movie, it feels really lackluster in my opinion. This movie went through um, many different screenwriters. I even heard the movie was gonna end on a much, much darker, ballsy ending cliffhanger. It was gonna be like Christian Bale's John Connor, which was a really good, casting choice. This movie came out just about a year later after playing The Dark Knight. It was going to end with John Connor actually dying and Skynet won. The Terminators have won. See you all in the next sequel. And when I heard that, I was like, wow. I want to see something like, I want to see a version like that come to existence one day. If we do get something like that, then maybe my head would change about this movie. But personally, Terminator Salvation falls at the very bottom because it, the, the script, the plot, it was simply simply just nah. And it's so different. It, it just doesn't feel like from what we all have been used to about these Terminator movies. And, and that also comes down to the absence of Arnold Schwarzenegger. The movie has a little bit of fan service, you know, um, it has some solid action. And that movie has familiar good casting like Christian Bell as this fully grown John Connor leading the resistance and has Ray Stallis Howard as his wife. Unfortunately, this movie was meant to start a brand new timeline and a new trilogy. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that go anywhere. So that's why this movie really falls short for me. If we get that uh, alternate cut, if we get an alternate darker cut of Terminator Salvation where John Connor would die, the Skynet won, see you all in the next sequel, then maybe that will change someday. I would give Terminator Salvation at least a B- minus for its for taking us into something completely new and different and taking you into that dark gritty future good choices of cast members christian bale and more 
and they did a nice job uh, trying to do something new. And, but unfortunately, because this movie went through some studio interference with scripts and different writers, it was personally kind of lackluster in my opinion. And there was not a lot of characters in that timeline that I grew attached to. Only, uh, only enough of Christian Bale's fully grown John Connor. A B minus. Um, at least a seven out of ten and a three and a half stars out of five I would like someday a new Terminator movie that would rather instead of ignoring the sequel sequels why don't you why don't you bring in somehow connect that timeline into this new Terminator movie Some, something like that that would be kind of cool in my head at number five is Terminator Genesis. This is an interesting, to me, a what if alternate timeline of the first Terminator movie. What if Sarah Connor was raised by a good Terminator? What if the good Terminator encountered the evil one that was sent back in time during the first Terminator movie to kill Sarah Connor? Yet, this was also trying to start a new trilogy unfortunately the movie did not get as well received like they wanted to i want to see uh, another terminator movie where they can bring the, the salvation continuity they can bring the genesis continuity together and give those movies some closures because i think they're they've got way too much bad reception they tried to go for something different and i respect them for for that what if um john connor became a Terminator. That's what I really enjoy about it. So I would give this movie yet a, yet a B because I think it has way more entertainment pacing by you than Terminator Salvation, in my opinion. You know, Sarah Connor, portrayed by Amelia Clark, who's very popular at the time because of Game of Thrones. That was a very, very great choice to play this version of Sarah Connor. Overall, I would give Terminator Genesis some credit, some good credit for trying to be a alternate what if movie to the first original Terminator movie. They even reshot, they even redid some of the scenes, key elements from that movie, which is also pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah, Amelia Clark was a good Sarah Connor. Arnold was back, following his absence from Terminator Salvation. What if John Connor became a Terminator? It's a fun. What if the Terminator one, in my opinion, I will give it a, a B and a 7.5 out of 10, four stars out of five. All right, now these next two, I've been switching back and forth now ever since I started as long as well. I was watching them back to back and I can sit down and watch these for what they are I can love them from start to finish. I can love my number four from start to finish. My number four is Terminator Rise of the Machines. Now, that's pretty controversial. I enjoy it for what it is. The TX, the action. This movie continues to bring that great action to look at. Arnold reprises his role. I know some people call this movie, oh, it's unnecessary. It's just a cash grab. It was unnecessary. Term, t Terminator 2 is, is where it ended and, but this movie it tells you that Judgment Day still can happen and I know um, James Cameron had nothing to do with this movie and I understand that this movie is nowhere near in that same visual quality like Terminator and Terminator Judgment Day but I can sit back and watch this movie from start to finish and I also don't even mind the uh, sense of humor talk to the hand i know some people hate that hate that but uh it's okay with me i, I love the tx i think she's scary she's intimidating she is kicking but christina loken she was awesome as the tx female killing machine it has fun action it continues that story where T2 left off and I will give this movie an A minus 
probably an eight or a nine out of ten. Four and a half, four point five stars out of five. Yet yeah, again, nowhere near as good as T two or T one. T one, I know it has no James Cameron involvement, but I'm okay with that. It's probably my one of my favorites. All right, guys, get ready. This is gonna be controversial. My number three is Terminator Dark Fate. This movie, when it came out, there was such di divisive. Some people thought it was the best Terminator in a long time, and some thought they didn't like it at all. They thought it was a slap to the face. They didn't like um, John Connor killed in five minutes. If you think about it, John Connor has been used many different directions and killing off John Connor in my opinion okay whatever okay fine I also, I like this new I like that they bring in some new characters that are starting to really grow on me like Grace who comes from this um, alternate dark future since uh, Sarah Connor and John Connor have stopped Judgment Day we got a new dark timeline where Grace comes from, but it's some other evil Skynet or something like that. She's, she comes back in time. She's protecting this new hero of the future, a new John Connor. And it's good to see Lin Linda Hamilton back as Sarah Connor since T2. Arnold is back, and he's, and he's going in another different direction. It's good to see him again. And the movie has some really fun action, and some people like to compare it to Star Wars The Force Awakens. So yeah, I don't mind John Connor being killed in the first five minutes. That's fine with me. The movie has some solid action. It's fun paced. It's like a welcome, it's like a nostalgia movie trying to uh, have that magic from T1 and T2, but still nowhere near as good as Ter the Terminator or T2. It was good to see Sarah Connor. It was good to see Arnold again. New characters come in. And I think they're likable. And if we get a continuation, I'd rather see them try to connect um, the Salvation timeline, the Genesis timeline, and give those movies closure. Maybe even T3 in some way. I'm not sure. That's just way I would think of it in my head. That would sound pretty cool in my opinion. Overall, I would give Terminator Dark Fate, it's a B plus. It's an 8.5 out of 10. And I enjoyed it for what it is. It's growing, it's growing a lot on me. I'm not the one who doesn't mind John Connor being killed off. I know some people think this is the, some people think it's the best Terminator. Some people think it's a slap to the face. And lastly, about Terminator Dark Fate, I like this new build of Terminator where it can split itself. It can split into its endoskeleton. It can split like the uh, T-1000, and it has the powers and skills of the T-100. T That's pretty cool. I don't see why anyone have a problem with that. At number two. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I know this is a lot. I see a lot of these lists. There are a lot of people's favorite action flick, favorite movie of all time, but where does this fall for me? It's a really fantastic, awesome action movie. I never, this movie was released before my time, and I've only come across the special edition director's cut because it feels like a, a really fleshed out movie and a great visual film so Arnold is back and things are reversed he is now John Connor's protector from this literally literally metal T-1000 who d disguises itself as a cop trying to kill John Connor as a kid before he becomes humanity's savior when he gets grown and Linda Hamilton is back 
and she really develops herself following the events of Team One that tried to kill her. So she is a gone from an innocent girl to a badass. And it is so fantastic when Arnold reloads that shotgun on that bike and riding it and shooting at that T-1000 over and over and loading that shotgun is fantastic. It's a fantastic story. I would give this movie a really an A for Arnold, the T-1000, Linda Hamilton, Sarah Connor, the action, it's everywhere. And, and John Connor trying to teach the Terminator how to act more human. It is fantastic. It's an A. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 5 out of 5. What can I say? Coming in at number 1, The Terminator. This is about that unstoppable evil killing machine that has been sent back in time during the 1980s. This thing is here to fulfill its computerized mission to kill Sarah Connor before she ever gives birth to the savior of humanity, John Connor. There's no reasoning with it. It doesn't have any pity or remorse or fear and it does will not stop until that target is dead this to me is the only one that feels like a horror and it, it's sci-fi it is it is action pack it's a horror sci-fi slasher action movie in my opinion which i really like and that's why i consider this a favorite this is the movie that started John uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's famous career as the Terminator playing this evil killing machine that you can't talk to it you can't change its mind he's here to kill you no matter what I will give this movie an A plus 10 out of 10 and 5 out of 5 Yes, you can say that um, because of its budget, there's some outdated shot scenes of Arnold. But that doesn't break this movie down for me at all. And it is done practical, and it is awesome, and it's dark, and it's kind of scary. When that all that human tissue gets burned off and revealing the endoskeleton, T-Model 101, it's some pretty scary stuff. And it's really hard to kill these machines until you find some way to kill it. So, yep, yeah, that is it. So, that is my list of Terminators films from worst to the best. Be sure, show me your rankings down below. Which ones you love, which ones you hate. Please let me know down below. Are you a fan of this Terminator franchise or do you prefer just Terminator 1, Terminator 2 and you haven't had any desire to watch it? Any more sequels? Let me know all that down below. It's I would love to see your rankings down below. It'll be fun to read. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you like what you see, I'm Dimension Scott. Thank you for all for tuning in the, into this video. I will see you all next time. Later days.